cycling over very short periods of time. This is just an example of what we should expect in 2015. Now, you would remember in 2014, lesser chance of rainfall we expected, but now we're expecting severe uh, heavy rainfall to come through over the Western Cape province. This is actually in uh, Philippi over the Western Cape as well as into Cape Town. And the risk of heavy rainfall could lead to places, uh, or could lead to road accidents and could lead to flooding in homes. And that could also lead to vulnerable communities being even more vulnerable uh, to the severe diseases. Now, these are warnings that would be given out by the South African Weather Service. Now, you'll see that there's possibilities of heavy rainfall that I just showed you in just a second. And then, again, hot and dry conditions there could also lead to felt fires, could lead to crops also being damaged along the northeastern parts. Again, possibilities of rainfall. And you'll see, when you look at the northeastern parts again, the severe rainfall that we should expect them, and these could lead to lots and lots of flooding of tourist areas, lots of economic loss along the Limpopo regions as well as over some parts of Mozambique. If you look at the Mozambique channels, the low pressure cells that are expected there, those could lead to heavy rainfalls. These are roads being blocked off because of the flooding that's taking place. Just have a look at the track already flooding all the way towards the northern parts, or rather the highest uh, point of the track. And as we move on, you'll see uh, we're expecting most of these roads to be flooded along the borders of uh, Limpopo as well as of Mozambique, causing heavy uh, 